In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a rear air suspension spring helper kit on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We need to remove this bump stop bracket on the rear above the axle. Use a 15 millimeter socket, take the two nuts off. the other one before I take that first one off. those nuts off. There we go. Now using a hammer, give it a tap and take that off. We'll take this bracket, we'll take three of these bolts. We're gonna go through, line that up, take a lock washer, put that on top. And a nut. Do the same for the other three, or the other two. Now tighten those down. I'm just using a 14 millimeter socket on the top nuts and a 5.5 hex key on the bottom. That's good. That's good. Take your airbag and you're going to take this plate. We're going to bolt that onto there. But on this side, because the muffler's right there, we're going to take this shield. That's going to go on first. And then this plate. And you want to bolt that on so that the shield is closest to where the muffler is so or where the pipe is so like that so we're going to bolt this just like that slide this in like that looks good there take these smaller bolts and I'll tighten these down Make sure that's lined up how you want it. Just tip this. There we go.
tighten those down. I'm take the bolts, make sure the bolts are going up. Slide those in place. Take a lock washer and a nut. Get that started. Do the same with the other ones. Lock washer and a nut. Two on the back side. You want to make sure the bolts go up, otherwise if they're going down, then you could stab the bag and then the bag will leak, the airbags will leak. So make sure those go up. Tighten those down. Use the 14 millimeter socket, 5.5 millimeter hex key. If you need to, you can use a wrench. Yeah, be careful, don't, you don't wanna stab the bag. Tighten these bolts down, nuts and bolts down. All right, that's good. All right, that's tight. Take this plate and it is gonna attach to the bottom of the airbag just like that. And then we have this plate as well. This is gonna go underneath. We're just gonna put these together. You can put one plate up on the airbag and then bolt this to it, but it's just easier to do it now. The bolts are gonna go down so that they're not gonna puncture the airbag by accident. So you can put the lock washers on and the bolts, or the nuts. using the 5.5 hex key. And we'll tighten this down. 14 millimeter socket. There it is. That's good. Now this is gonna bolt up. Using the shorter bolt, we're gonna bolt this to the bottom of the airbag. Using the 5.5 millimeter hex key, tighten this down. All right, that's good. I'm gonna take these long studs. These are gonna go in here on both sides. like that. Before we lower the vehicle down and put these on, we are going to run the lines because it's still up in the air. It's going to be easy to do this now. If you're doing this at your house, then it's not going to be a big deal if you just drop this down and then run the lines. So we'll take the line, we're run it behind the frame. And 
And before we attach it right there, I'm just gonna cut the end just to get a fresh end. Just use the cutter. And push that in. Make sure it goes in seats. That's good. Turn this. Make sure the exhaust is not hitting. We can wire tie this out of the way. Go halfway. And we'll cut it right here. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna take this T fitting, connect to one side, right there. And then get this lined up. Cut the hose right here. And do the other side, push that in. And you're gonna either drill a hole through your rear bumper or find a space where you wanna have the Schrader valve. That's this right here. And what we're gonna do is go through where the plate bracket attaches. So you can have it right there through your license plate. Attach the nut to the other side. Tighten that down. And take a hose, go through the T and into the fitting and push it in place. That's good. And just wire tie everything down so that it's out of the way. Take this bracket and get this started. Just going to use a washer. this down, tighten it down, and evenly we'll tighten these down. Just go back and forth. Good. And then do the same on the other side. You want to do everything the same on the other side. Tighten that down. That's good. And you always want to make sure there's at least five pounds of pressure in there. So pump them up with air. And 
and put the cap on, and you're good to go.